but this is Pyre. It's a game by... Yeah, there we go, we had him. <clears throat> it is a game by Supergiant Games that made Hades, Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre. Pyre is their third game. It already sounds like Hades. These little, like, things sound like Hades. Can I use a controller? You can use a controller. Yes, okay. Options. How does it sound for you guys? Is the audio okay? <laughs> I don't know if this is easy to good good. I don't know if it's easy to um subtitles on. Subtitles always on you. Um I think that's all good for now. Until we get in and it's like way too loud. Uh display. Full screen. Yeah. That's all good I think. Campaign mode. Oh wait, is that online? Oh no. New campaign. Wait, aim assist? Well enabled, hold circle to automate lock once enabled by enemies. Applies to both players investment now. Good. Hurry text. For players who finish campaign, blah blah blah. Standard heightened. Uh we'll go for standard because oh, can we not oh no we can play that, but we're not gonna because it might be difficult. It sounds crackly, please fix. Well, I think that's on your end, mate. Maybe it's your headphones, you might need new headphones. Pyre. <laughs> Long ago, in a valley, All right. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. No, oh, move Cassie here. Downside, a vast purgatory in which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. None have been known to return from the Forsaken Land. Hmm, another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth, a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups, found in principles of mercy, mercy and kingship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. That guy's in my chair. Mask something. See, si, right on schedule. What I tell you? You told us we'd find someone alive. Someday, I said we'd find someone alive. Someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. It looks like she's breathing. The mask wanderers presume you are female. Interact to change this. You know, play as a female, I don't really matter. Um, it seems she still is. Then stand aside. I shall send her to a better place. She's a she? Can you people just tell? Hang on, the markings on her rags. I think she's one of them. But look at her, she's beyond our help. And we're beyond hers. Broken, shaking, starving, probably deceased, yeah. Good luck with that there, chum. <laughs> See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood, I won't be long. After the others leave, a man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us are equal. Nothing's here. Oh, all of us. All of us, we're equal. Nothing's here. You are parched and he gives you a drink. You ache and he binds your wounds. You hunger and he gives you foods. Foods? Food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. My name's Hedwin. Now, come on. Hedwin. He is one of the three mass wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. Man, this friggin' music's banging. Every single game that sh friggin' Supergiant games make, it's just like the music's so good. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded the Commonwealth criminals through Alabaster Streets. Oh shit, yeah, we already read that one, haven't we? Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. Step inside. 
Oh, hello. Oh, there's a book. The weather beaten wagon is as much a mess on the inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient looking books. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the class on her mask. Oh, wow, she's act there. Those are actually her horns. Cool. You may call me your. Joe Dariel? Your Dariel? Joe Dariel? Hmm. Joe Dariel. I'll call it Joe Dariel. What, your Dariel? Your Dariel? What? Hmm. I'll probably Google it later. She's the most imposing of the three mass wanderers who found you clinging to life. Joe Dariel. Cool. cool. And as for myself, the small one struggles with his mask. Joe Dariel soon assists him. Ow! Oh my god, it's a dog. <laughs> with a moustache. That is a dog with a moustache. That's fucking great. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. He is the smallest yet loudest of the three mass wanderers who found you clinging to life. Such pleasantries out the way, the horned woman then motions the other to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can she do it? I hope so. I haven't asked her yet. What? Then what are we waiting for? Hey, sister. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Is he asking if you're a reader? One who can derive meaning from text literally has been prohibited for centuries with knowledge of the old ways violate the Lord Land. Ooh. Who are you and what did you answer? Sentence, no one to literacy, serious crime. Uh, no one in their right mind would dare violate old... Over time, you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of the common degree. Admit it. Yeah, fuck it, you know. You confirm the suspicions. There is no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days! Because it just so happens my associates and I, we've got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. I feel like I need to, like, read that character, like the dog, green tails, stuff really quickly. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask you for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. So he's put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the books in their possession. I'll have a look. It's just the one book, right? Oh my god, those things are cute. What are they? Old creatures, hungry looking creatures, roosting in some sort of attic. There's nothing you can do for them now. Rick Slider, judge about the gibberish creatures for that. Okay. That's just a. This game looks cool as well. All the art in the other games always looks sick. Cool for robes and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. Side door, beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get far. Oh, yeah, there's books on the floor too. Strange book, one of the several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. <clears throat> you pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a lot of text. <laughs> Forward. A former welcome to undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside. Such as we, the eight who wrote the books of rights. The book of rights. What That you possess it and have the capacity to... Clean? Glean its words? Is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from this forsaken place to a freedom, a homecoming, and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the oh cool, it like glows as I like go over it. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight, as they align as shown. Arrive at a trium tri, tri no it's not triumphant. Trium trium triumrate triumrate clad in the rhymes the rhymes of the rites bearing this book oblige the voice that tells you more okay can't interact with anything like that inspect oh i could have literally just pressed that <laughs> okay we know for next time forward brief instructions on when where and how to commence the rites okay close the book describes the complicated method through which exiles can return to the commonwealth the words swim through your mind as Hedwing gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel her body weaken and give out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hello. Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? Yes. So that soon is us. after your sentence into exile. Tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps what not you yourself, oh. but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path towards salvation. Towards salvation. You witness the rights. The rights. The one way to return to glory. Okay. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace huh? of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. Who is this godlike character? It worked. Glory God. So it is true. Oh man. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? She should still be out there. She should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in her. She could abandon us. She won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now, I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom? You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asks. Celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Hmm. Okay. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate. Triumvirate. Or they must nice. prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to like move the analog six and pass. Must act when we want to talk and move at time. Hold out to sprint. Uh, sprint until stamina is depleted. Okay. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb. Oh, so that's a dash. Oh, his dash yes. moves super quickly. The exile rookie has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. Oh, okay. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. So, like, you score points, which I'm guessing no, is the good but it thing. Is not so simple. But In the rights you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Okay. Beware the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. Okay. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Okay. Cast your aura like a stone. Oh, so that stops. Them. Wait, did that just banish that guy as well? Again. Okay, again. Just right. so. Oh, this a is interesting. glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected. This, I feel like this is going to be um, a difficult game. Grasp the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches the flame. Now I say jump. Oh, fuck Leap that. with all your strength. Oh, okay. So I can jump into the flame to avoid the aurora. Ruki is now returned. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst Thor's yet burns. Oh shit. Wait, was that? Oh, that was a strap. Okay. Oh, okay, fuck that. I mean, I did it. I just ran around them, but sure. <laughs> okay. Try jumping. Oh. There we go. Jumping seems overpowered as fuck. Okay. The flame 
Dreams of freedom. Try banishing adversaries. Glorious. Boom. How sad this is for the Beyonders. Yeah, I know, right? Boom. We did it. Is that all of it? Yeah. Okay. So that was there, tutorial. Dear reader, now you understand. Yeah, I kind of understand. It still or seems. <laughs> okay, okay. This was but a glimpse of that which lies Well, ahead. yeah, okay. You didn't, no need I to put me to down when I think back. I've slowly thought I'd understood. Cast but... down your hope. Okay. But all those such as you. Yeah, me. You never listen. You're right, I'm not gonna listen. During the rites, only one XL on each side is permitted to move at any given time. The three must act as one. Okay. This is interesting, because this is like taking little bits from Transistor. Uh, the others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. <laughs> well, that was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars, or what? Supposedly. Rita, come. Let us regard the night. Yudariel leads you outside where the clear night sky awaits. Now show us, before the howlers catch our scent, where shall the rites commence? The rites are an ancient ritual composition through which the one worthiest, uh, which the worthiest of exiles can regain their freedom. The eight scribes gave their freedom so that we may have ours. Pray for the book of rites. You gaze at the stars, seek out your destination. Where are the damn stars? Oh, that's one. I'm guessing that's our start, right? Uh, Caprius, the olden star, the star of the moon star hunter. Those born under it, that ambish are ambitious, though also disconnected. Was it that one? Oh, was, they're all over the place, pretty much. Just one. Wait, what? South star burns bright over a massive ridge. Of stone much farther than the naked eye can see, interacts them in qualification of the next, right? Oh, we can't go to those yet. Oh, so this is one we actually have to go to. Okay. Oh. Cool. Hmm. 200 leagues due east, the ridge of Gaul. According to the stars, the next right shall soon commence here. The fossil remains of this serpent titan slain by Gaul Goliathan. Yet loom over those living in its shadow. Concilia. Great! And we're supposed to be then there when, exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then, we best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? <laughs> Jadariel, Jadariel. Oh, maybe it's Jadariel. Jadariel turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, sister. We can't on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom, the rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. If I like to wait in the wagon, join them. Oh, the reader, achievement a lot. Guessing that's like the prologue done. Hmm. 